Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're gonna learn a spectacular skill. You're gonna learn how to create beautiful rhythmic displacement. Okay, you're gonna understand exactly what it means using odd numbered groupings of notes. Okay, odd time licks. Okay, we're all used to playing groups of four notes, groups of six notes, groups of eight notes, okay, even groups of two notes. And that creates lines and solos that are very symmetrical in rhythm, okay? And when you take groups of five notes or groups of seven notes, what you get is a line that doesn't end exactly on the beat. So when you loop it around and create a running pattern of five note groupings or seven note groupings, what you get is a rhythmic displacement. Okay, it doesn't fall exactly on the beat every time. Now, ears are a lot better than throats when you explain music, okay? You understand with your musical ear, okay? Instead of just listening to me talk. So this is a group of five notes, okay? This is a solo line with rhythmic displacement with a group of five notes. Right? What happened was that even though it was a repeating pattern, it did not end and start at exactly the same place in the bar, at exactly the same place on the beat. It was displaced because it's not symmetrical, okay? You can say that it's missing a note to become symmetrical. And this is a group of five notes. Now listen to it slowly and try to see where the groupings actually are. This is a lot simpler than the explanation sounds because all you need to do is play the pentatonic scale and play groups of five instead of groups of four or groups of six. Now, before I teach you the lick, I want to answer a question that you might have in your head. What about groups of three? Now, groups of three notes uh, are something that we actually play all the time. And groups of three are a natural part of music uh, that usually creates a triplet. One, two, three, 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 da 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 It's not something that is unusual to the ear, okay? Um, and we're used to hearing triplets, and we're also used to hearing fast triplets that are called sextuplets, okay? Groups of six notes, okay? Okay, these are six notes. So usually when we hear triplets, it's either a clear triplet, but most of the time when you hear fast soloing, it's a group of six notes. It's not really a group of three, it's groups of six. So it's still regular, normal time. But this is odd time licks, okay? It's five notes, repeating. Okay, so um, then we're gonna move on to seven notes. It's a little bit more confusing. So five notes is actually pretty easy to do. You play um, the pentatonic scale. Okay, I'm on A minor pentatonic. So I'm playing eight and five on strings one and two. Okay, I'm just pulling it off. That's it. And then I'm just playing the five on the first string again. That's it. That's the group. That's the whole group. And then I play the same thing down the scale. That's it, okay? If I break it down, it sounds like this. That's it. 
That's it. That's all it is. But when I connect them all together, I get this. How beautiful is that? It's just beautiful. It's surprising. You don't, you're not used to hearing or playing the pentatonic scale that way. Now, uh, you can also ascend the same way, just groups of five. So I, um, I hammer on, okay, five to eight on the sixth string, and then I play five on the fifth, okay? And then I play eight on the sixth again, and then seven on the fifth, okay? Like this. In order to group this together, uh, you can pick it or you can just pull it off to the next group, okay? Because you're ending on seven, so you just pull off to five, okay? On the fifth string and you start the next line. Now, when you play this, okay, you can turn this into triplets, okay, because this is still eighth notes, okay, this is eighth notes, this is one and two and three and four, okay, um, or sixteenth notes, okay, if you want to play it faster, but you can turn this into triplets, you can turn it into triplets, and then it's really truly an awesome pattern okay triplets would be with groups of five okay could you hear that okay this is beautiful this is awesome. Now speed it up and you know, the sky's the limit. Now, groups of seven are a little bit more confusing to get used to and um, are um, a little bit more difficult to hear without a backing track or without any rhythm going on. So I'm gonna explain the logic, okay? The group of seven is this. and so on and so forth, okay? It's groups of seven notes, okay? So when you play them together, you get that displacement, but you need to plan ahead, okay? If you're um, using the pentatonic scale, you don't have enough notes. So you need to pick a fuller scale, like the Dorian shape, for example, which is what I'm using now. So the seven notes are eight pull off to five, seven pull off to five on the same string, okay? On the first string, I'm playing eight, five, seven, five, okay? And then on the second string, I'm playing the normal pentatonic pattern, okay, which is eight five and then i'm playing the five on the first string just like before okay so i'm adding the seven pull off to five on the first string it's the same thing on the next two strings okay it's eight five seven five on the second string and then it's seven five on the third string because it's a pentatonic shape and then it's five on the second string again. Then on the next string, you can use the blue note. You can play eight, five, seven, five again, and then seven, five on the fourth string, and then five on the third. You can just
just play the same line over and over again and it just displaces itself because it's a group of seven notes. Now, it makes sense to repeat the same lick, okay, exactly the same lick on the same two strings with the group of seven because it's a lot of notes and it can loop around three or four times. But when you play the pentatonic scale and you have groups of five, it makes more sense, more musical sense to just descend or ascend throughout the whole pentatonic scale because the pentatonic scale is so familiar. Now, if you're using a group of seven notes, you don't really have to play the whole scale. You can just stick to a couple of strings, strings two and three, and just repeat it. You see? And it just displaces itself and becomes cooler as it repeats. So that's rhythmic displacement, the rudimentary rhythmic displacement. Um, and you can do this with any, with basically any scale that you have, anything you have under your fingers. Just create a group of five, okay, or a group of seven and loop it around. And immediately you get a rhythmic displacement. This is a great way to create a long line without sounding predictable. So um, if you want uh, more structured help with becoming a guitar professional uh, and mastering this instrument, this beautiful instrument, you can check out my Break Your Boundaries course program. Okay, lickandriff.com slash courses. My Break Your Boundaries course program, it's Full. It's chock full of over 60 hours of course modules designed to take you to the stratosphere and help you master this beautiful instrument. Um, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.